The next one is season five, episode two, titled What About Fred? What about him? Who is he? Let's do it. Let's find out. Here we go. Congratulations. We are official part owners of the bar. Ah, yes. It's going to be a little weird, you know, me working for you. Oh, no, babe. We're going to keep it separate. Astrat's my day job. I'm more of a show up late night with my Argentinian friends. You better not be hitting on women, asshole. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you for the back I need to you have to beer on the bar because that's what makes it stick. So now I can do it a billion times. But there's broken glass. Hey, look at that. What a game, right? Screw the boss. Oh, wait, that's you. It's up to you to take charge now. I know, yeah? Because I'm the manager. Oh, man. What you need to do is set a meeting. What's, what's going on there? What do you mean? Your rib cage has give. You know, Casey still hasn't texted me back. I've been on five dates with her. Five dates, and I still don't know where I stand. Casey? It's like making a risotto. A risotto in your heart. Mm. 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 Aww, what's that for? Just cuz. Aww. Mm, how great is that? Uh, so great. So comfy, so warm. Mm. Mm. That is like one of the best feelings when you just kind of just wrap your arms around your significant other from behind. It's just, I love it. You were looking for something wrong. I gotta say, she's right. Mm -hmm. I mean, besides, what if he's got a dope ass home theater? Damn. This is a dope ass home theater. <laughs> yeah, projection screen and everything. Bathroom real quick. Okay, we'll hurry back before previews begin. <laughs> that was a joke because I feel like I'm in a real theater here. I mean, this is amazing. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, that was fast. Hi. Oh, hey, to startle. Cool. Just wanted to know if you wanted some snacks during the movie. I just made a fresh pot of coffee. We're Flip and Nancy. Fred's parents. <laughs> now I see where he gets his looks and his house. <laughs> Well, maybe he's saving up for the future. I'm from Portland. Do you know my last book signing was at Powell's Books? Oh, no way. You're you're a writer? Well, I'm just a fool with a few stories. You're just being modest. And you are being lovely. Oh. Okay. You guys are so sweet together. It's because we're still on our honeymoon. 35 wonderful years of feels marriage. Feels like two oh, to me. Feels like one. Nick, what are we doing here? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your new boss, so you'll do what I say. When the cave people went to the cave bar and they asked for a drink on the rocks, they actually meant it. Dude, <laughs> if you like now that we're all laughing. exude confidence and knowing what you're talking about, then people will listen to you. I've Just been in this situation life. holding like team meetings. I... Anybody have any questions? Your mother? <laughs> <laughs> Your mother. Not appropriate. I love it. Thank you for breaking the <laughs> I must look so stupid. Hey, get over here. I got a meeting. It was that bad, huh? The bird man was bad. So if they're all part owners, who's actually in charge? Because there's no way they're all equally in charge. Because that's not good. Ferguson, you have a knock. Hey, my boy. You been hanging down at the wharf again? Guess what? I took a chance with that guy, Fred, and I'm in love with his parents. But I'm in love! Ferguson, clear my schedule. I need a word with your sister. <laughs> hey, I like that. I respect that. Animals are part of the family. If you don't feel the same, unsubscribe right now. Okay, everyone, listen up. Here are your new uniforms. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Save your groans for Birdman. Get a handbook and, and, and implement it. And we have a new one napkin policy. Just one napkin? Questions at the end, please. Should somebody ask you for a second napkin, you just say, are you sure? They'll just back off and say, thanks. Now, please go try on your new polos. Hey, Schmidt. What does the old handbook look like? Wedgie in front of the others. You need to rule with an iron fist. No mercy. Well, Cobra Chirals. Yes. I'm not doing it. They're my friends. Your friends are going to lose their jobs if this bar goes under. As a manager, I was always told... <sighs> If it came down to your job at the end of the day, give me the time. don't lose your job for them. Now we're talking. No mercy. Corporate leader is born. Don't don't put it around your head. Now go. Go be a boss. Hey, Cece. We measure our drinks now. Am I right? So, uh, do as I say. <laughs> of course. Just, you know, it's important. You know, with the consistent. 
I take six shots. That's insubordination. That was some sass. You're at a real crossroads. <sighs> big moment Ride her up. There is no fear you ain't. in this dojo. Hey, how Yo, are? I love the Cobra Kai reference. Oh, he's so crazy, Nick. Someone broke into my house last night and stole that ugly shirt. <laughs> yeah. It was tonight. Right? As your boss, Javier. So you came to work out of uniform? Sure. I need you to You can clock out and go home. Your mother. <laughs> Javier, do not slide that right now, okay? I mean it. Not Dude, okay. You're like, fired. You're suspended until further notice. What? You can't change, man. You can't fire anybody unless you have their last check available. Manage your hack. But you can suspend them until further notice. You are out of control, Miller. I'm not gonna take it anymore, and you guys shouldn't either. Oh. Let's walk. Okay, this is ridiculous. I totally get it. Love you, babe. All right, let's go. <clears throat> this feels ridiculous. I mean, the effect that she has on people, it's really incredible. I can't believe it. she's marrying me. I mean, like Workplaces what? have rules. This seems like they're on strike for no reason. Hey, Winston, this is Nancy and Flip, and, um, and uh, we just went to the park. <laughs> we had a great park nice day, and we're going to have you. some uh, wine before mm -hmm. dinner. Oh, you should join oh, us. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah. You should join us. Just a little sit. Oh, for sure. yeah, for sure. Definitely join us. Join us. Just a moment? What the hell are you doing? They're just the most amazing people I've ever met. What Where'd Ferguson go? Fred? He's just so quiet. I can't get a read on it. If you want a comfy old relationship, you gotta start somewhere, all right? Go spend five minutes alone with him. Now, go get some cheese for the wine. The chevre is always nice, but I wouldn't dare tell you how to buy cheese. You're being so assertive right now. It's almost attractive. Hey, mm. not the time. <laughs> not the time. Yo, put your phone away, dick. You know, I can be shy sometimes, too. You don't have to be shy. Seriously, I'd, I'd, I'd really like to get to know you. Really? Here's something that I learned from our relationship. When you feel a knot, you take a deep breath and you stare at it and face it without fear or judgment. I don't think that it's Fergie's knot that's bothering you. Mm -hmm. I think that the knot that's bothering you is right there. <laughs> Winston's gonna like him too. I don't know where I stand with my girl, and I can't talk to her because I am ashamed. Oh. Did he just oh. say shame? Yes, yeah, what is that? Shame. Then I'm ashamed too. I say to you, let her in all together now. Let, let count of three. her in. Let her in. No, okay, okay, just go. I love cheese, all kinds of cheese. In Orange a nondescript, cheese, pizza large cheese. paper I love bag. All parts of pizzas, especially the dough. Once I asked for a ball of dough. Oh, you're an idiot. A simpleton. I'm so glad you opened up. <laughs> People always make fun of my eyes, but I guess they're all like... Winston, can I have a moment? Yeah. I love flipping in. I hate Fred. No! I know! Hmm. This is kind of a pickle. He just sucks. When I asked him what his favorite hobby was, he said towels. Where did you meet Fred? How did you meet Fred? I mean, Flip taught me how to be vulnerable with Casey, you know? Nancy ear candled me. I can hear for miles. Ear did, candle? Fred. Forget about that, dude. We establish our own relationships with Flip and Nancy. Boom. Make future plans with just them. Future plans is redundant, but other mm -hmm. than that, I am on board. Okay. Now, I'm going to need some alone time with Flip and Nancy. Future plans is redundant. Fred, of course I can stall Fred. I would do anything. Me too. Are we totally crazy? Maybe. I don't even care. I don't even care either. <laughs> I hear you and I'm getting to you. Stop yelling at me. Shut up. If she's going to be here, can she at least help us? I am not going to scab. Sorry, baby. I cannot scab, but I'm here for you as your fiance. You are my rock right now. So let me know if you do. We are screwed. Hey, shut up. I'm trying my hardest. I shouldn't have fired Javier. I got to apologize. This is all my fault. Obviously, this is your fault. No, stay on your ground. I've had to go through this too. I feel like if Javier came back, the rest of the staff would come back. It's a great idea. I just said that. Such a great <laughs> idea. Well, then give me one because I said it first. If you're giving it for that idea, if it's about that idea, then I deserve one. No. And I felt left out. <clears throat> Shut up! I kind of just want to hang out with you guys and not Fred. Well, ouch. Is Fred here? Hmm. It's, thank you for doing this, by the way. This is great. Slow night. Miss Officer, can we go? I'm very hungry and my possible girlfriend and parents are waiting for us to order and it feels like you've done over a million tests. Where is the justice? You can go when I tell you to go. Now for your next test, 
I want you to pretend you're about to break dance, but do not actually break dance. Oh, I didn't mean, oh. buddy. I'm t Why would he take that upon you? Don't him? ask. I mean, whatever. Man, he's dumb. Do it more animated, but less alive. Someone would be recording this, be like, "Oh, abuse of power, defund the police." Well. <laughs> It's just, you guys are so amazing. And it's nice to be around something so great. And I, I'm i not really a love match with your son, but I think I might be in love with you guys. Jess, we, we are glad that you think that we're amazing. Yes, we are. And we think that you're amazing. Yes, we do. These two and, are really good um, um, actors. We know that Fred isn't the best. They're usually like in these parent parental roles. You know, he can be so boring. It's like the apple fell so far from the tree, it fell in a truck and then disappeared across state lines. You guys are very honest. Did Fred ever tell you that he loves model trains? Oh, those model trains. We want to make a deal with you. You marry him equals you and us. I, I like the parents. Fred, I don't really care about. We've come to give you an incredible opportunity for you to apologize and get your job back. So what do you say? No, that's not how you approach the situation. I've been in the business world for just shy of half of two decades. And I can tell you that an opportunity like this does not come along. I mean, Javier so. invited you into his home. So you're, you're halfway there. Stop. You just need Look, to seal the here, deal. I'm sorry, I messed up. It, yes, apologize. you apologize first. Boss before, and it's weird, Be like, man. we both, we're going through some growing pains here. I'm the boss now. You're an employee, sorry, but I have to establish order. You need to respect that. There needs to be that type of working relationship between us. So I can't have you, can't have you disobeying me, being insubordinate in front of others. But I still want it to be a great place to work. If you come back, that'll be my top priority. That and getting your old skanky cousin back in town so I can make out with her. And my skanky cousin back in town so, so you, you can make out with her. Well, I was about to say, no. I say... Your mother. <laughs> your mother. Mother. Your mother. Your mother. Your mother. <laughs> but you have to be like, okay, but keep your the mother jokes to a minimum. When we're at work, we're professional. Next hand in, right? Okay. Nope. <laughs> okay, so you're saying that if I date Fred, that we can all keep hanging out together. Yes. You're the child that we always wanted to have. Imagine <laughs> us as grandparents. And even better, you'll never have to go on a first date again. Yeah, that sounds really mm. good. There's no rush. I mean, why don't we go up to the Vermont house in the next few weeks and all be together? Oh. We send romantic notes mm -hmm. on the clothesline. Oh, my jeez. And a loom yeah. in the barn. Mm. <laughs> wow. Hey there. Hi. <laughs> all right, over here, buddy. Look, I am terribly sorry, you guys. We got held up by an overzealous cop. No. What? The Jess was just saying how much she likes model trains, right, Jess? I didn't know you were a Rayleigh. That's so great. What's a Rayleigh? G gauge, uh, G scale, gauge one, HO scale. Probably not a tabletop girl, right? Do you do it costumed or do you just do it leisurely? I deal mostly with the uh, transitional era. I used to play with Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Sir Topham Hat. That's about all I know about train models or playing with trains. Thomas the Tank Engine. I'm also quite good at flocking snow, so I'm very popular around the holidays. Ah, I have stop, not been paying attention to anything just, uh, he said. Yeah, what the hell? This. I can't believe I was even considering doing this. Harry Gross owns the house next to us in Vermont. Oh my god. Do you run into her at Sierra mm. Hospitals? We had a horse until it ran away. Aww. I have to go. Let's go. Hey, listen, uh, Jess and I really aren't that close. I'm all about horses. We're going. You know what, Nick? You were right. The bar isn't just a place of business. It's that place Cece came back to. Which is something I truly hate about it. Where's the uniform? No! You guys caved! Horrible bosses. I'm thinking I have to fire you. Maybe you should fire me. You know, what do you think? You save enough money, you buy me out one day? You run this place on your own. You really think I could? Yeah, definitely. I mean, your dumb bitch of a mother sure could. What? What? Your, your, your mother, who uh, we're referring to in this circumstance as a dumb bitch. I think she could no. do that. No. No. Stop. You know, as a dumb, as a dumb, is that not, is that not how the joke goes? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. Can I have another napkin? Are you sure? Oh, yeah, I don't need one. You know, look, I know they turned out super weird and kind of like rich pimps, but I just kind of miss them. Glad they were weird. Kind of snapped me out of it. I was about one park day away from a Vermont model train themed wedding. All right. Hey, get out of here. I'll catch up later. Boss man's got to go over the books. Okay. Good to have you back, man. Oh, this is very terrible. I don't believe you. I want to get more storylines with Winston and um, Lady Cop, forget her name, doing Start police spinning. stuff. Up about Nancy. All right, guys. So that was New Girl season five, episode two, titled "What About Fred?" What about him? Fred sucks. Let's just be honest. Um, I liked how there was like a kind of twist to this, where Jess kind of like had built a relationship, like a, a, an actual positive relationship with the guy's parents. Like the guy is just a total dud. He's like basically a, a potato. You know, has all the personality of a potato, and uh, and she actually has like a positive built a positive relationship with the parents, which is actually pretty funny. And the parents were played by, I can't remember the actors' names, but they're really, um, they're really solid. They're, they usually play like notable parental roles and, and stuff like this and like movies and stuff like that. Because I remember him, uh, the guy, the dad here was the dad from what, Click? And the mom, she, oh God, where was she from? She was from, um, she has that, that, that signature voice, you know, the, 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 the mousy voice. God, I can't remember. I believe she was from like sitcoms where like everybody loves Raymond or, um, yeah, I believe so. She was on everybody loves Raymond. She was like, what was it? God, I can't remember those characters names. She was like the mom, Robert's girlfriend's mom, I think. But I forget what his girlfriend's name was. Anyway, it wasn't Stefania. It wasn't the hot one. <laughs> Anyways, um, this episode was pretty cool only because I liked everything that didn't have to do with Fred because I'm just like I was not interested in that to be honest the revolt at work I mean yeah I like the idea of Schmidt and uh, Nick being managers and having to you know rally a team and, and, and establish order rules and you know basically saying there we're gonna redo this bar we're gonna run it the way we want it because we're now owners I like that I've done stuff like that. I've run teams. I've run stores, you know, way back in the day. Just kidding. I'm not that old, but I've done it before. And you do. It is a cutthroat type of um, profession because there are two types of, of people. There are leaders and there are followers. Now, a lot of people think that, you know, that's that's like a bad thing to classify. But no, not really. You know, because some people just like to just have it in them to kind of think outside the box, you know, like what about the bigger picture, you know? Um, but I, I like how you that they, they kind of have themselves in this situation, in this position where they are in charge. But the fact that they're still so goofy, it kind of makes me cringe a little bit because, man, if they were actually in charge of something, this is how they operate and run things. Man, that bar would have been shut down so quick, or they would have no respect from the employees. It would have been crazy. I wonder what their books look like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying in the inventory? What look? Like, what are their numbers? What's their uh? What's their uh, pro, what's their, um? What are their P and L reports look like at the, like uh at the end of the quarter with with CC giving away six shots of whatever the fuck it was for a one shot drink? You know what I mean? Like how many? And, and uh, just random glasses they have to pay for it's like all this stuff it's like how does this place run you know what i mean anyways but solid episode not my favorite so far but let's just hop into the next one be season five episode three 